Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Unibrush channel and today we are back with the latest LEGO news for 2024. Now of course before I begin the video I just want to say that if you do enjoy and want to keep up to date with all of the latest LEGO news from me then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server links will be down in the description below but with that being said everyone let's get right into it. So first off, we have our first official images for the brand new LEGO buildable Simba set. The set did leak a few days ago, but now we have the full set of official pictures. So we will quickly go through those. Uh, and overall, I think it looks pretty good. We do also have a smaller version of this releasing as well um, in the next few months, which also got revealed about a week ago. And that one is about a £20 set, but this is way over £100. So this is significantly larger than that other version. But I think this one actually looks really good, honestly. I love the shaping for majority of it. I think the only thing I'm not really massive fan of is the mouth section. I think it looks a little bit off. In my opinion, I don't know, there's just something about the mouth that doesn't look too great for me personally. But I love the tail build, the ears look really good as well. I love the way that they've um, done those as well as the eyes. They don't look that creepy, so that's pretty good there overall. And I think this is one of the least cursed and the most uh, least creepiest uh, LEGO buildable characters that we've actually seen in quite a long time and this does include 1445 pieces for those of you who are wondering now this is of course an 18 plus set so it is mainly designed as a display piece it's not really meant for playability however there is some articulation with the model so for example you can actually rotate the head ever so slightly you can move that around so i think that's quite nice there so that does allow you to pose it in different angles i believe the tail is also uh, allowed to move a little bit as well i believe that that does have some rotations on it um, and i believe that you can also slightly move the arms as well but uh, majority of the body section is quite stiff and you can see it um, in comparison to the smaller lego simba there as well but i think that both of them honestly look really good next to each other and then we do also have a brand new lego ninjago magazine that has been revealed as well and this does include one minifigure which actually looks pretty good love the staff build there i think that looks really really good um and it also does have that really nice dress piece with some grip printing there overall the torso has some nice printing as well and the face looks pretty good and then it does also include the hood um i believe that's the old hood so that's quite interesting why they didn't include the new one and then we did also get the official uh, pictures for the brand new lego jurassic world sets with the first one being 76962 the baby bumpy ankylosaurus this will include 358 pieces recommended for ages seven and over and all of these sets that i will be showing there are three new jurassic world sets they are all based off the new jurassic world chaos theory show which is basically a sequel slash spin-off of uh, camp cretaceous so a lot of the minifigures that will be included will be based off the original uh, camp cretaceous so uh, show uh, this one of course doesn't include any minifigures because it is just a ba uh, buildable baby uh, bumpy i think it would have been nice to actually get the bumpy uh, mold though uh, that they have used in the past i think that would have been a nice addition but overall i think it looks pretty good uh, you can definitely tell what the character is so i think that's great and you can tell that it is based off uh, bumpy in particular as well uh, so i think that is quite nice and then we do also have set 76965 and this is the dinosaur missions um stegosaurus discovery this includes 420 pieces and is recommended for ages six and over i uh, really like these stegosaurus that that is included you do also get some raptors as well which is quite nice and then you do also get that little truck there as well and a little tree build um, in addition and then you do also have a little area where it's got the egg hatching uh, which i think is quite nice overall um, and then you do get a few minifigures included in this one as well being sam and ben i believe so that is quite nice um i think that both of those minifigures look pretty decent honestly would have liked to see some more minifigures in this set but um, overall i think it's fine honestly um and then you can see that sam does also come with a carrot and then ben is at the top there hiding um behind the tree um and here is a lifestyle picture there and it is a pretty decent decent size model overall i think that the stegosaurus definitely makes up for um most of this set however i think that looks really really good that mold and then the last set that we do have is at 76966 and that is the dinosaur missions allosaurus transport truck with 588 pieces recommended for ages eight and over first time i believe that we're actually seeing an allosaurus in lego and it looks absolutely incredible really love that mold there i think it was great the color scheme as well with the dark blue looks amazing and i also really like the truck as well there and it does actually have the cage that has been attached to it as well uh, so you can actually fit the dinosaur inside no but i think that this this set is just a really good uh play set in general uh, but here is the set all built up and you can see that the uh, cage is actually open 
so you can actually get the dinosaur and make it escape which i think is a really nice addition there it also seems to include a little drone build and you do get quite a few minifigures included in this one as well there is also a little boogie build as well which can fit two figures uh but you can see that there are quite a, a lot of characters included in this one including darius as well uh which is great to see there uh but overall, i think that all of these jurassic world sets were actually pretty good i definitely cannot wait for the future jurassic world sets that we will be getting and then we did get the official and our first look at barador and i gotta say overall this one looks absolutely incredible and for those of you who are wondering this is going to be set 10333 with 5471 pieces and this will be retailing for 460 dollars if you are in the UK, I'm guessing it's about £370 from conversions. But like I said, this thing just looks bloody amazing. I'm not even a fan of Lord of the Rings. Um, I've watched the, the film probably once or twice. I wasn't really too interested in them. And when we heard about Barador, I was like, whatever. Um, but this looks so, so incredible. Um, I think this is better than the Rivendell set. Honestly, I just think it looks better, the building overall. And I, I think that... I'd rather display this than Rivendell if I had to choose between the two. But Rivendell is still a really good set as well. Um, but this one is definitely the one that I would buy out of both of those. And I don't own either, either of them. So if I was going to buy one, it would definitely be Barador first. Um, I just think it looks great. I love the eye. It looks absolutely incredible. We do have some lifestyle pictures as well showcasing uh, some closer details of the actual Barador itself. So I will show you that in just a second. Uh, but let's just appreciate the exterior. I think it looks great. Love all of the lava uh, pieces that have been used on the bottom there with all of the translucent orange and the translucent yellow pieces uh, to give it a lot of the texture. Uh, but here are the measurements as well for those of you who are wondering. It, it, it is 83 centimeters high. That is very, very tall. I believe that is roughly the same height as the Daily Bugle or, or it might be a little bit taller. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a really, really huge huge set so i am so so excited for this one it looks great honestly uh, but let's take a closer look at some of the details that are featured in this model so first off we have the eye which looks really good now lego did actually tease this in the teaser that they revealed a few days ago and um i, I was really intrigued by it because the building techniques are actually really clever in my opinion for this i love the way that they've done the eye there in the middle uh, essentially they've used those sort of car pieces uh, which are curved for the wheels there. Um, I think that looks really nice overall. Um, and they've used two of those in yellow to represent the shape of the eye there, which is in black, of course. And then you also have a bunch of the translucent orange and the yellow pieces that have been featured as well to give the lava effect, which looks incredible. You do also get the entrance as well, which does have a door which can be opened to reveal the interior. Um, I will say the actual entrance itself, uh, like the, the hallway where the minifigures do walk, it's pretty plain. Uh, there's nothing really too special going on with that in my opinion but let's just appreciate all of the lava details in the bottom there it looks so good with all the rock pieces as well that the views there it's got a lot of texture this model which i really really love and i think it really does a uh, popping you can tell that the designers of this really spent a lot of time trying to perfect it but here's what the set looks like from the back now i believe that they didn't really show the interior of barador in the films i don't remember seeing any of the inside of barador uh, so I think that Lego have just sort of made this up um, or they've just gone off some concept art or preliminary images perhaps of Barador, the actual model itself, um, or they were inspired by other companies. But nonetheless, I still think it's fine. I do like that they've included an interior in this one. Uh, you can see there are a little dining uh, area here for the orcs. Uh, there is a table and it's got a, a quite a few of those glasses on there. You also got some meat as well and some bones are featured on that as well, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, but you can just see the minifigures look really, really good. We do also have a closer image of all of those figures as well, which we will show in just a minute. There is also this little area where you do have a cage which has a minifigure skeleton inside and that is on a chain there and that has actually been hung over the lava. Uh, I think that looks really good, honestly. It's a really nice, simple effect which I think looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I love the cage build as well. I, I honestly think it looks great. And it's always great to get more of those Lego skeletons as well. Um, moving on, we do also have a close look at the front entrance as well, uh, just from a little bit of a different angle because the other picture didn't really show it from a bird's eye view very well, but this is at, uh, the entrance from a bit of a higher angle there. Uh, I think it looks all, overall really good. Like I said, the entrance is quite plain, but it's fine. You could put quite a few minifigures in there because 
all of these studs are exposed so i think that is a pretty big win in my opinion overall there uh but i really do love the shaping as well all of the entrance area i think it just all looks really really good um and here are all of the minifigures so we do have frodo and sam who i believe are the exact same ones from rivendell which is quite unfortunate i think that it would have been great if they ended up giving them different outfits because you are paying 460 dollars for this just to get the same two minifigures that were in rivendell i know rivendell is an expensive set anyways but it still would have been nice to get different versions of the characters Gollum also makes an appearance as well i believe that is a, a very brand new Gollum as well uh that looks actually pretty good i do quite like the way that the Gollum looks i think that the arms however look a little bit too big on him and then you also get the orc um, and here are the other three orcs as well uh, not really a massive fan of lord of the rings like i said before so i'm not really too familiar with these specific characters but uh i think that all three of these characters look really good i really like the um sort of the armor piece that the minifigure on the uh, far right features and it also does come with the machete as well as, as well as the minifigure on the far right and the torso printing for all three of them is just phenomenal um i think it looks great the leg printing as well is really really good um, and I also really like that helmet for the minifigure on the far right. And then here are the last three minifigures of the set. So we do have the other org on the far right there. Absolutely love that broken shield piece. I think it looks phenomenal. And then in the middle, we do have Sauron, which I think looks great. I know some people have been complaining about the height of Sauron because he's supposed to be a lot taller than the average Lego minifigure. And Lego have just scaled him to be the average height of a Lego minifigure. I think it definitely would have worked if Lego used the avatar arms and legs i'm not really sure why they didn't do that however i really like that helmet it looks so so good and i believe it's also molded into the shoulder pads as well so that is all one piece but yeah i just cannot complain about that minifigure i think it looks really really amazing and then the one on the far left again looks really great there love that mouth uh, mouth print there i think it looks really really great and then that does also come with a new exclusive helmet as well which looks amazing and some great torso and leg printing and then when the new barrador set does launch you will be able to get your hands on set 40693 the fell beast dragon with 269 pieces this will be a free gift with purchase that will be, uh, be available during the first week of the launch of barrador and i gotta say this one doesn't look that great in my opinion definitely nothing to write home about I think a lot of people were worried about this set um, as to whether it was going to include any exclusive minifigures. In fact, the original rumor was that it was going to include three figures. It doesn't. It only includes one minifigure, which I actually think is a good thing because I know a lot of people aren't going to be able to buy Barrador on day one because it is a really expensive set. $460 is quite a lot of money, especially for a Lego set. So I think that what Lego have done here is they haven't made anything too appealing, if I'm being completely honest with you. You know, some fans are going to want the Fell Beast Dragon, but I think majority of LEGO fans who just like the Barrador aren't really going to be too bothered about this Fell Beast because it doesn't look the best in my opinion. Um, and also, the minifigure is nothing special at all. I don't think it even it comes with any exclusive uh, prints or anything like that as well. So, um, yeah, um, I'm not really a massive fan of this one. I do like the wings, however. I think the wings look really great. Uh, the rest of the Fell Beast, I'm not a massive fan of, especially the head. It looks pretty weird and quite off in my opinion and that minifigure on the top um is like i said nothing special uh essentially it's using the new hood piece which you can get from so many minifigures like emperor palpatine for example it's got a plain black head which again is a pretty common piece it's also got a ripped cape and that is the same cape that is used by the dementors from harry potter uh the torso print looks like one of the raw prints from star wars if it's not that and it is new it looks very similar you can easily recreate that and the legs i think they're just plain black legs i can't really see too well from this image because uh the minifigure is sitting on the fell beast there but uh you do also get the sword with it as well but again nothing too special there but i think it is a nice addition for those who are going to be buying barrador on day one i think this would make a really nice investment piece as well me personally if i was buying this i'd probably just keep it sealed and put it next to the barrador set um but yeah overall um i think that the barrador you don't really need this gift with purchase, honestly. Uh, the Barrador set just looks absolutely incredible. Um, I will definitely be buying that at some point, even though I don't really like Lord of the Rings that much. Um, but I definitely won't be buying that on day one. So I will be, of course, passing out on this uh, gift with purchase. Uh, but I'd love to know down in the comments below what you think about Barrador and the gift with purchase. We've been waiting so long to see the set get revealed. We've only seen one image of the set before this, and that was back in 2023 when it got leaked in the survey. But there we go, everyone. 
with that being said this is the end of the video if you did enjoy then why not subscribe as well as like the video and turn notifications as well as follow me on instagram and join my discord server links will be down in the description below let me know down in the comments below what you think about the new barra door set as well as all of the other jurassic world sets and the new lego buildable simba i'll talk to you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye